Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. So this week we're going to talk about an indoor wireless access point. This was sent to me and we're going to check it out. I don't know a lot about networking, but we're going to figure it out along the way and I'm going to bring you along so that you can understand it and if you want to get one, you're going to be able to. I'll explain how it all works. We'll do a quick unboxing first to have a look at it and uh, then you can decide if it's something that might work for you. The reason I want to get it, or why I want to try it, um, the modem I have, sometimes I just turn on the computer and it shuts itself down. They say it's because it's overloaded. It's really not. But with the access point, I'm going to take some of that load off, put it onto the access point, and thereby hopefully not shutting down the modem anymore. Which shouldn't be happening anyway, but it is. So. This might solve a problem for you, if it works for me. So, let's get into it, let's unbox it, go over the product, and uh, show you how to hook it up and all that kind of good stuff. So, let's get going. Okay, so there's a little bit of noise in the background, I got the 3D printer running, but this is the first look at the product. So, Ingenious Indoor Wireless Access Point. This is uh, obviously necessary, so this is included. Okay, it's got your connectors for your network and for your power all right we'll get to that in a little bit let's get it out of the box and see what it looks like here's some more information so this will do from the cloud well basically that's what they refer to it as wi-fi 7 2x3x3 three three. okay tri-band indoor which is really nice uh you've got a couple uh, qr codes you've got the quick start and then you have mobile app to set it up all that kind of good stuff all right so let's get that out of here okay so when you get it out of the box here's the first thing you see inside here let's get this out oh wow it's very small very thin and on here we have your power your downward 2.4 okay 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz all right that's important you've got places to uh, hook up everything all right Adapter is going to go in here, power is going to go there, so you can easily hook it up on your wall. And uh, we're going to get this out. It's almost like there's nothing in there, really. And let's have a look. Okay, so these are just all your screws. Okay, so put it on the wall. And a couple other things that will help you to mount it. And that's it. Okay, so this is a look at the Ingenious uh, Indoor Access Wireless Point. I have it plugged in, but let's go back and show you how it all works. It's pretty simple. Uh, there's things to walk you through it. So let's start. So when we first opened the box, we saw everything about the product, the model number, uh, cloud Wi-Fi 7, light 2x3x3, which means it's tri-band, so 2.4, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz. So Wi-Fi 7 capable, all right? You have a quick start guide, you just scan your QR code, and this is for your mobile app. It will let you download it, put it on your phone, and that will help you uh, do everything. We have our screws to mount it, okay? And these are two mounts, that's pretty much it. So in order to get started, first thing you do is follow the directions on here. But we're gonna do it differently. This is our power adapter. Okay, it plugs into an outlet, and then you have two cables for your network. Okay, so one of them is going to go to your device. So the purple one that I have there, it connects to the back of your access point. And on the back here, you can see where it's connected. All right. And then after that, it's pretty simple. That's all you got to do with this. So your other cable, okay, this one here, which is a CAT 6E. All right, is connected there, and then that one's going to go to your modem. Now, this one is PoE. This is LAN. So when you connect to your modem, find a LAN. So just a little slot on the back of it. You'll see it. It'll say it'll be labeled LAN. And then after that, there's a QR code on the back of your access point that you scan at at later point, and that's going to help you set up everything okay so start off with you have two cables to connect one that goes from your poe to your adapter 
one that goes from the land to the land on your modem okay follow those two things and you're basically almost ready to go then with your app it's going to ask you to identify your device all right you're going to scan the QR code on the back of the device it's going to find it it's going to walk you through all the steps and it's going to be good to go so I will show you the app show you a little bit about how it works so that you can figure it out all right basically once you've connected all those cables that's the easy part the and so is the uh, connecting of the mobile app it walks you through everything I'm going to quickly show you that and then guess what you're going to have three networks you're going to have 2.4 5 gig and 6 gig you can set up separate networks it has so much functionality that I love it all right so I actually have higher speed now than my modem was actually giving me before which I didn't think it was possible but I knew what my modem wasn't going to give me six gigabyte or six gigahertz all right it wasn't capable but with this on there I am now getting that so for those of you that aren't aware now you know so let's get on let's get on with the app show you a little bit more and let's get going all right so we're going to start off a couple different things you've got the quick start app so the QR uh, code that will get you to this page okay so basically it's the cloud user manual I'm going to walk you through everything first thing it's going to tell you is make sure you have um, DHCP and an internet connection and then it mentions your browser for Google Chrome Moxilla Firefox and Edge and uh, goes on and on this is a very big manual but you can peruse it get a quick look at it and see what you need to do before you start all right it's not real complex if I can figure it out you can because I have no knowledge on networks well a little bit but not a lot of knowledge on networks so by going through it doing a quick read I was able to figure most of this stuff out all right so once you've kind of got an idea of what you're going to do next now you're going to want to go to the mobile app so scan the QR code for mobile app it's going to bring you to Google Play and it's going to give you the ingenious uh, to go so cloud to go and you're going to want to install that and it's going to take you through a bunch of different steps you're going to scan the QR code on the back of your device to recognize that device and then once you've recognized it it's going to ask you a series of questions of what you have to do next so let's have a little quick look at that once you've scanned the QR code it's going to take you to Google Play you can search it up like I just did but uh, it's the same difference on your phone you can use it on your phone with a mobile app uh, I'm doing this for the presentation of this on my computer so you can see ingenious cloud to go and on this right here at top right it's the symbol that they use click on install and it's going to walk you through step by step as you can see there's different things here okay so testing it's going to tell you the inventory how many networks how many access points you have which will only be one if you're only using one it just all depends on what it is you're doing all right now when you're signing up okay first you're going to have to create an account sign up scan your device all that kind of stuff it will walk you through step by step you don't have to try and figure everything out it will walk you through step by step it'll ask you to name your device it'll ask you to create an account all that kind of good stuff so don't get too carried away with this is beyond your capabilities I thought it was beyond mine to be honest I'm very happy that I took a chance and I I had a look at it uh, because there's a lot to delve into so when you're done everything's gonna look like this everything is okay uh, it's going to tell you you have your 2.45 and your 6G uh, networks. Okay, you can set them up independently if you wish, or you can use all three at the same time, and it'll pick whatever is the best one. You can tell when you have somebody logged on how many clients that you have. All right, how many people are using your network at that time? I actually find it better in terms of uh, control. Of knowing exactly who's on my network and it, it makes it very easy if you find somebody on your network that's not supposed to be there you can it actually says kick 
you can kick them off your network and they're gone all right so things to keep in mind now once you've gone through and you've done, set it up you're going to see all these little access points and uh, you're going to see SS IDs uh, your gateways uh, clients all that kind of good stuff uh, this is the app okay this is what you would see on your phone all right dashboard devices clients Wi-Fi and your logs if there are any okay it goes by day week and month and you can also go to the next one it tells you all the services that you're using on your network how much the bandwidth they're using and of course then you move on to multiple different windows so depending on your de your device um, like mine is not either one of those but yours will show up it'll tell you how much uptime you've had how much downtime you've had all that kind of good stuff all right so you can keep a better control on it when I was just using the modem that I have for my network without an access point getting the information was really uh, pretty involved this is using an app to make your life easier all right so the next screen it's going to give you all your device details Mac address all that kind of stuff how many ports you're using uh, your VLAN settings all this all right now like I say it's PoE which just means power over Ethernet all right so that device that I showed you earlier that came with it you plug it into a socket you plug your cables in and that's what's powering it all right that's where it's getting its power from all right and then we have activity for your CPU your memory all that kind of good stuff your radio which is your different channels and that's it that's pretty much all there is to it there is so much more that it would take me hours to get get into everything all right so keep in mind this is going to seem very overwhelming when you haven't done it before but I hope this helps you out because it's much easier than even I anticipated it would be and I love that it gives me so much more control of what's on my network who's using it and if anything's going wrong all right so hope that helps you out all right everybody so the internal access point that I got works great I've been using it for about a little over a week and a half now testing it out seeing how the strength works all that kind of good stuff uh, it sits on the other side of the wall from my modem and I have absolutely no issue having changed everything over to it not everything but things that matter to me onto that because before my network was shutting down on the modem itself having this extra access point when I add the computer or turn one on that was triggering it now it's not now the computer is working nothing is shutting down and I have a lot more control on my network I can see who's there if there's anybody that's not supposed to be there I can kick them off and this was much easier than I thought to set up uh, figure out it took a little bit figure out how it all worked because uh, I didn't realize that the power plugging in uh, to the Ethernet port was what powered the whole thing and then just plug it into the modem LAN and then on the uh, other one just the other slot not the PoE but the LAN slot and then everything works and you set up your app like I showed you and it's perfect um, I highly recommend it to be honest and I don't normally do that all the time but uh, but uh, it works really really well so I hope this video help you up help you out so you can figure out if that's what you want and you know what same thing would probably work if a mo had another external modem I never really tried that see if that would work or a router rather uh, maybe that would be good too so basically another access point it's just kind of the way you want to go although with a router you're not going to have the kind of control that this is going to provide you all right anyhow hope you liked the video hope it helped you out hope it made you help it uh helped in making a decision on what you want to get if you're new here think about subscribing hit that bell for notifications for videos that come up in the future give it a thumbs up if you like it and leave me a comment if you have any questions. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.